That's cheap. 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 And all of a sudden, I'm getting worked up, and I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to go take a deep breath. Excuse me. Okay. We're going to trash all this crap. Canadians love to shop. No longer done merely out of necessity for most, it has become a fun recreational pastime for some, and truly a passion for others. Setting the record in 2008, roughly $25 billion was spent in Canada on clothing and clothing accessories. Because the fashion industry is constantly changing, people feel obligated to have to keep buying new clothing in order to keep up with the latest trends. Since with each season comes the release of a whole new collection from brand names, it's really not easy to keep up to date with fashion, and it requires the dedication of a lot of time and money. Fueled by consumers' relentless want for more, companies have even started sacrificing the quality of their clothing in order to be able to produce enough to meet the public demand. But with this overwhelming demand, what are people doing with their old clothes that they are no longer putting to use? To get an idea of what some Montrealers thought of the subject, we asked a few local consumers to share what they do with clothing they no longer use. Um, I just throw it out. I either keep it in my closet or I throw it out. Actually, I have a bag downstairs that I'm about to get rid of. I could show you. I can't even close my own drawers. This is some stuff I was just about to get rid of. I throw them away. In order to keep up with the ongoing and ever-changing demands of today's consumers, globalization has made it possible to produce an increased amount of clothing at progressively lower prices. The problem with those two factors is that they have led to the rise of what is most recently being referred to as fast or disposable fashion, where clothing is so cheap and available to us that we consider it to be disposable. What most consumers don't acknowledge before stashing a perfectly good outfit at the back of their closets and venturing out in search of a new one is the environmental impact that the life cycle of their clothing actually has. Before articles of clothing end up on the rack to repair its stores, the fabrics and textiles must be first manufactured. According to Luz Claudio, author of Waste Couture, fashion leaves a pollution footprint. The production of cotton and synthetic fabrics contributes enormously to ecological hazards. Cotton, a very popular clothing fiber, is one of the most water and pesticide dependent crops. In fact, of the total amount of insecticides used globally each year, 25% is allocated to traditional cotton cultivation. Polyester, the most common man-made fiber, along with plastic, full leather, and elastic tissues, are all petroleum-based materials. The manufacturing of such synthetic fabrics depends upon extensive amounts of crude oil, the exploitation of which not only destroys ecosystems, but releases hazardous waste into the air we breathe. With our dependence on crude oil being one of today's leading causes of pollution, it is sad to say that the demand for artificial products due to the fashion industry has nearly doubled in the past 15 years. But what happens to all these textile products once they are manufactured and made into clothing? Well, in 2006, 200,000 tons of it were purchased by consumers in Quebec alone. Of this amount, an estimated 21% remained unused. Each year, 7 kilograms per person of wasted clothing ends up polluting Canada's landfills. Statistics additionally show that 85% of recyclable clothes are being needlessly thrown away. And 80% of these disposed items are still in perfectly good condition. What can we do to help? Ideally, the first thing to do would be to reduce our consumption. If this isn't an option for you, you can always try shopping at local eco-friendly fashion stores such as Alterna Boutique or Ecocentric Apparel. You may also want to try selling your unused items to used clothing stores or try depositing them in local FQDI donation boxes. We spoke to Luigi Morabito, event coordinator of Agapi, a non-profit organization in Laval that provides food, shelter, services, and clothing to the needy. He proudly told us that about 60% of donations he receives are of clothing and suggested that people donate their unused items to organizations like Agapi as these items are always being recycled, reused, and given to people who really need them. If you like having your new shoes, new shirts, nice outfits, and like having nice places to wear them, we need to act now and make sure that we reduce our textile and clothing waste output today so that we can have a better looking tomorrow. <laughs>